hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to create a backup of wordpress website in godaddy how to restore it and how to delete wordpress website sometimes what happens when we install plugins or themes there are chances uh, virus gets installed in our website which affects the functionality of the website and it degrades the performance it will be very difficult to identify and remove the virus or bugs from the website so what we can do it we can create a backup of the wordpress website and when we feel that we uh, are facing some difficulties in running websites or it affects the performance of the website we can restore from the backups there are two ways to take backup of the WordPress website in GoDaddy. So let's begin logging into your GoDaddy account with your credentials. Go to my products. Come down. Go to web hosting section. Click on manage. Go to cPanel admin, it will open cPanel admin dashboard. Come down, go to software section, here you will see a list of websites which are running in your GoDaddy account. These are my WordPress websites. So, I want to take backup of this website so simply what I will do is I will click this icon you can see that it is showing backup it will ask you options where you want to backup in your web hosting account or adding a new backup location if you select this one it will ask the location you can also back up uh, your website in the cloud also like amazon s3 google drive etc but i want my backup in my hosting account only It is showing the estimated size. Now click on backup. You can see that backup starts. backup has been completed you can see the result in my backup section so this is our backup which we took just now So this is the backup. Let's create a post in our website and then we will restore to see how it will work. So 
so this is my dashboard of the wordpress website what i will do is i will create one demo post I'm publishing now. You can see that post is published. So now let's restore our WordPress website from the backup which we created. So friends, we have created a backup before this blog, before this post. So when we restore a backup, then this post will get deleted. Let's assume this is a virus. And we want to remove this virus we have to identify and we have to delete it will take a time so instead of this if we restore a backup like we assume this is a virus it will get removed so let's see how to restore the backup after coming into my backup section click on the restore icon so this is the restore icon and it will ask you some details where you want to restore so restore to original location or restore to new location i will proceed with restore to original location click on continue restore You can see that it is restoring the backup. It will take some time to copy files and directories. so backup has been restored now go to this page and refresh it so here you can see that that post is not there so this is how backup and restore works now i will show you how to delete the website so after coming into my applications here you will see the list of wordpress websites or other websites so select which you want to delete i want to delete this real estate website so i will click on uninstall icon You can see that it is uninstalling the WordPress website. Install uninstall is complete. 
you can see that there only one website is there but you can see that in my backups the backup is still there for the real estate website so let's see if we can backup after deleting the website so click on the restore and click on continue Here you can see that the real estate website is not there so it is redirected to my default website that, that is tutorialsfor.com So restore process begins. Let's see. So friends, you can see that after deleting of the WordPress website, also we can restore the website using a backup. Let's see whether our website gets restored or not. So friends, here you can see that our website gets restored. We can also log in into the dashboard with the, our old credentials only. This is how we take manual backup and manually restoring the website. Sometimes what happens we forgot to take manual backup and we can't restore if we have forgot to take the backup. So what we can do is we can enable the option to take backup automatically. So let's see that option also. Come to my application and click on the view or edit details of that website. Come down. Click on automatic update backup. Select the section, create a backup, and automatically restore the backup if the update fails. You can select the location. Here you can schedule your backups. You can plan as per your requirements. Like if you want one weekly plus one one monthly or one daily plus one weekly plus one monthly like this you can select or you can also add your backups suppose you want daily two backups you can write two here or you if you want Weekly, you can write here, or monthly, you can write here like this. 
you can enable automatic backup of the website so this is all about creating backups restoring backups and deleting of the wordpress website in godaddy hope you like this video please subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching